I have a three port ideal model 33 insure push in wire connector. This connector is UL listed to meet National Electrical Code, follow the manufacturer's installation instructions. Inside the connector is a spring loaded strip that joins up to three wires together. It's an alternative to wire nuts. There are two port and four port models available also. The color codes of the pushing connectors don't relate to Ideal's color codes for their wire nuts. All three models are for solid wire, American wire gauges 20 through 12. It's also listed for stranded wire, but I would use wire nuts for stranded wires unless the wire ends are tinned with solder. Strip the wire back a half an inch. Then push the wire into one of the ports. If the wires strip back correctly and inserted fully, you'll see the tip of the wire at the end of the clear window. And there shouldn't be any copper showing beyond the back edge of the connector. Use only one wire per port. There's an additional port that you can put a probe from a multimeter into. To remove a wire from the connector, pull it and twist it at the same time. The connector's clamp mars the copper. The connectors can be reused, but there's three conditions. They're only reusable with solid wire. It must be the same gauge or smaller. So, for example, if you had a number 12 wire inserted into a port, you couldn't reuse that port and insert a number 14 wire. And if I wanted to reinsert this wire into the port, I would have to cut it back and then restrip it. Vago makes a pushing connector that has levers that release the wire. Vagos are popular in many parts of the world. They are not commonly used in the U.S. They are more expensive than Ideal's pushing connectors or wire nuts. In the United States, backstab connections have a history of failing and a bad reputation, so the tradespeople are not quick to adopt a new type of pushing connector. If used properly, I think they're okay. Uh, they have their place. You may not have the hand strength to twist multiple number 12 wires together. It's a faster way to make a connection. I'd be scared to reuse these connectors multiple times. I definitely wouldn't use them with stranded wire or with a circuit that's going to be taken apart and put together a lot. You'd have to keep on cutting your wire back and you'd eventually end up with very short wires. I hope you found this video helpful. A thumbs up is always appreciated. Click on the channel name, Know How Now, to find other videos. And thanks for watching.